Hello and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. In the last part, we finished up Serena Beach, and in this part, we're gonna head to Noki Bay and hopefully finish that level up. So let's go ahead and jump into this giant ring of light and stare up into the sun. So in Noki Bay, we have to do. All right, just making sure we're gonna be doing the Shell Secret, Episode Six. Now, we're not doing this shine necessarily because there are some things I need to pick up. I keep forgetting at those stupid nozzles and the secret shine because this is this will be the first secret shine in the level because, you know, this one counts as two. And we still have another one to find. So I know where to go, but really quick, where I want to go is just a quick detour to pick up those other nozzles because I keep forgetting about them. So let's make sure we go get those to up here. Some interesting platforming to get up to this nozzle. Up here. I keep saying here, like we're going higher and there's lack of oxygen, so I have to go higher pitch, but that doesn't really make sense because I take in more oxygen when I get higher pitch. <gasps> and I can't breathe. End of story. <clears throat> it's been a. It has gotten hot here recently. Like. You would not believe it. I'm accustomed to hot weather because that's what I prefer. But it has gotten hot as crap. And I don't know why I keep using that analogy, hot as crap. I just it's just something I've always used ever since I was in middle school and high school. I don't know, who knows. But anyway, it, it's it's jumped like hundred almost 110 degrees. I don't know if that's precise what it is, but it's it's hot. Alright, you, you get the point. So I gotta make sure to get this one very carefully. Uh, I think I can get it. The trick is, is I gotta jump backwards and then use this. Now get the blue coin. Because those are for later. And get the turbo nozzle. Let's go ahead and use it. Alright, that could happen. Come on. Whoa. Uh, actually, we can use the turbo nozzle. No big deal. Because we're getting the secret shine in this level. Up we go. All right, we need to go in here, and I'm doing this again. <sighs> I'm kind of a little bit, not really disappointed, but I'm kind of sad that 4th of July is going to be different opposed to how it normally is around my house, because we buy, like, so many mortars and stuff, but since it's so hot, it's the biggest fire danger, and yeah, just not safe. All right, so there are three types of birds. There are red birds, oh, four, excuse me, red birds, very rare, blue birds, and green birds and gold birds and I just said and twice and you can guess what's in the gold birds and I said and three times fantastic come on Let me just kill this bird and make it show its true form come on there we go and we get the secret shine sprite cool found this by accident my first time through because I was just derping around the level and I killed that bird and I was like oh hey because that's what you're supposed to do but yeah, pretty cool. Okay, back in Noki Bay doing episode 6 for real this time. <laughs> for me, I thought we actually did a real episode. But I was not paying attention. When do I ever pay attention? I'm just kind of in my own little world. Isn't that the fun part about being me? Well, I mean, I, I don't know. Does, does everybody else have their own little world that they like to... Well, I'm, I'm not crazy, that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm starting to sound really weird. I'm listening to my sense. I'm like, you're, you're kind of sounding a little bit weird, man. What are you trying to go for? I'm talking about... Actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. I was going to say my happy, your happy place, but that just sounds kind of... S not really even silly, but kind of scary almost. Or psychopathic. I don't know. Go to your happy place. Go to your happy place. Anyway, let's let's end this conversation with a transition! And he steals it again. This is my favorite secret level. For one reason, it's challenging. It's not to the point to where it's like ridiculously hard, but it's challenging. What's weird is we've done harder, and we've been to higher level secret levels. You know what I mean? We've been to different levels. We've even gone to the. Actually, it's not the final level, but it's, you know, I guess you call it the final level if it's the last secret level in there. Anyway, you get the point. I don't understand why this one wasn't in Pianta Village, because this is, this is tougher than, well, actually, talking to people is annoying. 
but I, I like this one because it's just more platforming and you know you get to put all of your abilities you've learned up thus far besides the flood to use you know you're jumping you're you're bouncing on tight ropes your wall jump and even your spin jump if you need to now let's not forget the reverse jump so let's see, you can do some wall jumping, and the red coin mission for this level is pretty awesome. It gives you barely enough time, but it's it's fun. I like it. Alright, and up we go. Whoa, almost jumped off the edge. And random fire to keep this place lit up. Yep, because it's dark. Now, not this one, but the next Lincoln Log of Doom and Death is actually a really evil Lincoln Log of Doom and Death. I mean, look at its speed! It, it rotates pretty fast. The one I'm afraid of is this yellow one right here. Actually, yeah, the yellow one killed me a good few times on my practice run of this. This isn't that hard. If you can just get into the center and reverse jump up, you're fine. Literally, I reverse jump every single jump. How many times can I say jump? I don't know. I like the word jump. Jump. Jump a robe. Jump a jump. Get the shine spark and get out of here before you start, you know, running out of things to say because your sins is slowly ending. Whatever, let's go. Okay, I mean, decided to meet you back in here because, eh, it's great to save time. And we get to do one of the best red coin missions in the game. Yay. Can you tell how excited I am? I really didn't even prepare to talk about a lot of stuff in this part. I just put plugged up everything and said, alright, let's do this. I just want to play. That's, that's, I normally decide to do these when I have a lot of stuff to say or when I'm in the mood, but... I have zero stories. I have some jokes. Uh, what do you call a cow that's been knighted by the queen? Sirloin. Um, what do you call a cow that uh, has only two rear feet? Lean beef. What do you call a cow with no feet? I couldn't get that shine. I mean, that red coin. Oh, wait, this one. I remember this one. Got a wall jump, then use your flood. Alright. What do you call a cow with no feet? Ground beef. Uh, cheesy jokes are the best kind of jokes. Did I miss one? Ooh, is there, is there one over there? Cause I, yes, there is. I remembered that one. I was... Oh, oh wow, I'm running low on time. Actually, whoa. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta do this. Grab it. Good. This will be six. Wall jump off of it! Yeah, we got the last one. This one's the bag. It's alright. We're good. Yeah, I'm out of jokes. <laughs> I'm trying to think. There's a... There's, there's, these, there's this guy I used to know in high school. I think his name was Trevor. If I forget his name, I feel bad. Because he had some of the, the dumbest jokes of all time. And we categorized them as Trevor jokes. If that's his name, I feel really dumb if it's not. Because it doesn't feel like it's his name. Oh well. Okay, back in Noki Bay doing episode 7. Hold it, Shadow Mario! Another Shadow Mario mission, no big deal. Hot for ya? Yeah, he always does that. Uh, back to the whole bad joke thing. He, he had so many jokes. He had this one joke that was literally five minutes long. And it didn't even have a punchline. It, it was the worst joke I've ever heard. If, if I could have a wish, it would be, I want those five minutes back. It, the joke takes that long. Because it gets to the point where you're like, alright, I, I see where you're going with the... There's a bug on my arm. Uh, it gets to the point where you're like, alright, I get what you're doing with the joke. Punchline. Dang it, use the wrong nozzle. <sighs> it gets to that point where it gets really, really dumb. I mean, I can tell you some of his jokes. He, uh... What is, a uh, What's green and has wheels? Grass. I lied about the wheels. Um... Darn it, he had some of the dumbest, uh... Oh, what's what's red and hard? A brick. I mean, it's just... It, it, they were so bad! Where is he? Oh, he's over there. He blends in so well. He's actually gonna try to trick me by going down here and just going around this... Oh, never mind. He tricked me by making me think he did something predictable. I, I've, I'm almost tempted to tell you the five-minute joke, but... I, I have to tell it perfectly because if you if you mess up, it, it just kind of ruins the terribleness of the joke. Darn it! it it's so stupid. And, it, and this was and he told this joke right before class started. So I mean, this was a wow! What a jump! Is he gonna land in the water? Ow! I hit I clipped the ledge. 
I mean, it it was so bad. Uh, I'll tell you the joke one day. That was very rude, sir. Where are you going? Can you fall so we get the shine and get out of here? Not me, you! Not you, me, you, you! Huh. Uh, I need to watch more 30 Rock. I've gotten into that show recently. Dude! I know you want a hug. Oh, I got him. I heard him fall. I got into that show recently. I, I heard from a lot of people it's really good, and then I sat down and watched it, and literally watched it. Like, there, there's a difference between sitting down and, like, sitting the show, going in, like, I don't really feel like watching this, and then sitting down and be like, I'm giving the show a chance. And I liked it. It has some really, really quick humor in it that I really, really enjoy. It's clever. Alright, back in Noki Bay doing episode 8, The Red Coin Fish. A cool episode. Uh, it's it's it well once again it's the episode eight and it's the celebration for Mario and I really really like this it's a great way to end off this level it, it's just it's nice so nice to meet you Miss Mario thanks to you so much for restoring our beautiful bay to its purity no problem so with this helmet on our head it obviously means we're gonna be going underwater deep underwater and I want to check something. Alright, there was, there was that little itch in the back of my head that was saying, Hey, did you miss a shine? Because you know what happens when you start talking a lot and you, you multitask. You sometimes make simple errors. Well, not this time. I did it right. Maybe that itching, maybe that itching feeling is just a bug on my arm. There are gnats in my room for some reason. Oh, God. <sighs> but yeah, there are gnats. We, we, oh, get up there. There are, we have a, not really a massive infestation as but, the, but there's the occasional gnat. I think it's just the same gnat and it's just following me because I I've only seen it. It's probably for us just leaving our food out uh, in the sink for a little bit too long. Not our food in the sink, but you know, not putting up our dishes fast enough. Oh, well, what am I doing? I can easily make this jump. It's not a big problem. She has something small left to take care of. Master Mario, our people have all come back at last. To show our thanks, we've prepared a fine treasure for you. It lies on the ocean floor, so please go there and claim it. Just remember to watch your life meter. No problem. How do you know I have a life meter? <gasps> they know the will. They know the will. Hey, look, a coin fish. Oh, it's pretty. So we have a red coin fish, you can tell by the name of the episode. Huh. I like it how these are called ep these are named episodes, but I always call them missions. Interesting. So what's really annoying about this is he, the fish will split up into massive, uh, well, massive different areas, and I used the wrong nozzle. My key is just to get in there and just... As, oh, fish! Nah, in my... <laughs> There's a gnat in my eye! <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> No, no, no! Wow, that one went far. Ah! Literally, I mean, I wear glasses, but this net is persistent. It's like, oh, he's a bald. He has glasses. I know, I'll go around them. Just brilliant! <laughs> I don't see a flaw in this plan at all. I mean, sure, I could possibly get stuck in his eye and, you know, drown because of the fluid in his eye, but pff, who cares? I'm a gnat. He only lived once. No, I, I, ah, darn it, I made a yellow reference. Crap! I was trying to say that because, isn't it, is it true that flies and gnats only live 24 hours a day? Is that true? Uh, I mean, it'd be something to check out. Because that's what I was told when I was elementary school. That's something I heard in elementary school. I mean, yeah, you should believe a lot of things you're told in elementary school. Like the alphabet? <laughs> Who needs the alphabet? The alphabet don't matter. I mean, unless you're doing a sobriety test, but pfft, who gets caught drinking and driving anymore? Who even drinks and drive? Pfft, it's all about texting and driving. Seriously, don't text and drive or drink and drive. This is, I, I, don't hurt yourself. You scare me, people. Okay, and with that, we're getting another close-up of Noki Bay's entrance. I wonder why they just keep doing that from then on out. I liked it when uh, it showed just the the front view of Delfino Plaza. That was a really cool view, but it was all blacky and gross. But now look at it, it's all pretty and ah, da. All right, no, don't stare in the sun. Stare in the sun, don't stare at the sun. All right, now the only thing that is left is blue coins and the 100 coins shine. I always like to make sure, even though I just checked this. All right, so once again, giving it to post commentary, I'll take it away, my friend. Bounce. 
Alright, my time to shine. Now, I'm just going to warn you, Noki Bay Blue Coins are ridiculous in locations. They aren't wacky like Spray a Lamp in a, a Serena Beach, but they are creative and require some tricky platforming to do. And that's basically about it. I really just can't explain anything more about these blue coins. They're just really, really annoying. All I'd recommend is just watch the video or do it your own way because this is the best way I found how to do it. And even then, it's still hectic as crap. So, enjoy the music. Time for the 100 coin shine. I'd recommend episode 6 because as soon as you spawn, turn around and there's a lot of coins. There's about 50 in that area. It takes a while to get them all unless you have the turbo nozzle. I kind of wish I did that, but I was feeling kind of rushed, so I just did this as quickly as I could. Noki Bay, for having surprisingly tough blue coins, does not have a tough 100 coin shine, and that kind of threw it off. But it's really simple, so I'm going to let the music take it away as we finish up Noki Bay. Enjoy.
That's it for Noki Bay. Thanks for watching. Like a babe if you enjoyed this part, and subscribe if you want to see more. In the next part, we will head to Pianta Village and finish that level up. Until then, I will see you guys later.